Boardy Wing, Episode 7! Second half of this anime's run, and well, we start the match between <coughs> Eve and Rose. Pretty much neck and neck from the from the from right, from the opening from the opening tee. Nagaangasan, nakuha pa nga magangasan yung dalawa eh, in in between holes eh. Then may napansin si si Vipere na medyo naging off na yung laro ni Rose pagdating ng hole 8. Kasi parang ano na raw eh. Parang hindi na ganong kalakas yung yung palo. Hindi na ganong kalakas yung palo ni Rose. Unlike in the first 7 holes. So pagdating ng hole 9, so medyo ano talaga ganun pa rin. Neck and neck pa rin. Talagang Walang biga yan. It was Eve's turn now to um for the um for the first drive. So sa sa hole 9. She introduces now her um her most aggressive move na. Then came came Rose's turn. Final scene. Pag para ni Rose na ganun, medyo almost Pantay na yung yung tigil na mga bola nila eh. It's right there. So, each ball traveled at least 278 yards. Ganong kalayo kasi par 5 yung 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 hole. Pero bigla sumigaw sa sakit si, ano, si Rose. Then, all of a sudden, her arm broke. Her right arm. Uy. Eh, kaya pala malakas mo ba alo ito eh. Prosthetic arm ni yung kanan niya. So, ang gulat nila nila Eva Viper. Even their benefactor kasi nanonood din eh. Si Sino ba to? I, for, I, I forgot I forgot his name again. Patreon, Bigo, Maka Lifestyle. We're going to break this episode down now quick stop style to to further shed some light into this uh this episode. Base. I got no complaints. Kasi the pacing, you would expect this kind of a pacing in a, in a really intense golf match. Lalong lalo na kung evenly match yung mga players involved. To tell you frankly, I got those feels from a movie called The Greatest Game Ever Played. Has anybody seen that movie? Yeah, it's a golf movie. Ganitong ganitong feels ko nun when, when, when I was watching this episode. Ganong kadikit yung laban. Right? If you don't believe me, look it up. Uh, look it up in uh, look it up in on Google, the greatest game ever played. Right? And you would uh, relate kayo sa sinasabi ko ngayon when it comes to the feels of this episode, which dictated the pacing, which I have no complaints about. Flow naman. First gear shift here was when um. was when Eve, for the first time in her golfing career, did a slice. No brainer of a gear shift there, folks. Kasi, well, basically, the main pro tag found a way to up her game just for this match. She actually called it the purple bullet. Eh, dun, dito rin natin alamat sa gear shift na to that Aoi is Japanese for purple. Tama ba ako? <laughs> Comment below. Second gear shift was when Viper noticed uh, that something was wrong with Rose. No brainer of a gear shift here. Because, tandaan niyo, Viper is now Eve's caddy and coach. So, well, as, a, as both a caddy and a coach, you should be the first one to notice these things. Hindi yung player mo. If you feed mo lang ito sa player mo. That's how, that's how great caddies do it. I assure you, mga lifestyle, it's exactly what caddies do. Alright? Kaya, gear shift. Kaya, tinawag kong gear shift ito. Final gear shift is, of course, the post-credit scene. Yung final scene. Rose suddenly um, broke her, well, we now know, her fake arm. 
Well, again, no brainer of a gear shift there, folks. Well, look who's talking about cheating. And she, uh, she accused Catherine of cheating for putting out that, putting out hole number seven, yung talagang may, may, may burol sa harap. And the player has no choice but to slice the ball. Yung, yung pakaliwang tirang ganun. So, wow. Okay. You're one to talk. Eh, yung palang, eh, yung palang braso mo, robotic pala eh. Kaya ka pala ganun kalas, kalakas mo mahalo eh. Tangin na ka. So, yeah. It's a little bit of a gear shift. Right? This goes to show you how much of a cheater Rose is now. Eh. I don't know about you guys, but I find that gear shift satisfying. So these three gear shifts that I saw, guys, definitely will play a role down the line in the second half of this anime, at the very least. Plot-wise. Nope. Walang side or backstory dito eh. Therefore, malinis ang plot, mga lifestyle Patreon, Bigo. Kasi kung lang, it wouldn't make sense if BN Pictures put in a, uh, a side story or a backstory in this episode. Kasi sira, masisira yung, yung pagka-tense ng episode. Because these are two evenly matched players. Pareho ang golfing style nila. So, something's gotta give. Kung lalagyan mo ng side or backstory yun, wala eh. Hindi ma-appreciate ng, uh, ng isang viewer who has totally no idea about the sport of golf. Yeah, you gotta keep that intensity up. And only a clean plot can do that. So, base flow and plot, they all came together for this episode, folks. So, Birdie Wing, Episode 7. No-brainer, guys. Two thumbs up! Right now, I really want to know kung paano na... kung paano na nakuha ni, ni Rose yung kanyang robotic arm. I really want to know it. You can... Well... Ano to? Accidente or... I don't know. Uh, I don't know if in real life golf... If you're physically disabled, kung kulang ka ng isang braso, iaalaw ka pa maglaro. I don't know. I don't know if there's a if there's a if there's a rule on that these days. Pero it looks like she's been keeping that robotic arm a secret. Mukha eh. Talagang inin talagang she actually screamed in pain and probably in a uh, in frustration just to beat Eve. So, we'll, we're gonna find that out in the, in the next episode. Kaya, tutu pa more tayong lahat, alright? So again, Birdie Wing Episode 7! Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Birdie Wing, mga kalaista. Wow! Greatest game ever played fields. Galing. So Patreon and Bigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, What can I do? Eh, di pa na lang kayo mag-chill-chill dyan. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.